Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're here at Toro UK down in Spellbrook. Well then, I'm really excited to be here at the Toro factory. Really excited to be honest with you. There's loads going on today and we even got some lunch thrown in, which is a great bonus for me because you know I love my food. Well, I'm sure you've heard of the brand Toro and you've heard of the brand Hater and they're both made here in this factory in the UK, all right? Now, unfortunately for you lot, you can't come in there with me. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna have a look at everything, see how it's made. They actually manufacture the things here. So raw materials come in one end and a mower comes out the other. But when I've seen all that, we're gonna shoot over to the field over there and there'll be loads of mowers on display, petrol and battery equipment, and we're gonna to get to test them out. So I'll catch you in a few minutes and I'll tell you all about it. Wow, what an experience that was then, eh? Started off at the this side of the factory, unbelievable. All the uh, raw materials coming in, sheet metal, box section steel, all stacked up in the stores. Then it's being picked, taken over to the machines, all laser cut out. They're bending it, folding it, welding it, shot blasting it, painting it, assembling it, all the way through to the finished product where the hater mowers are boxed up and ready for dispatch. We even saw some of the big Toro mowers as well through the various stages of assembly. And they were coming, and manufacturer as well, and they're sort of coming through along the line, being put together and then thoroughly tested at the end. They can put all the fluids in, test them, run them, take the fluids out, move them around, put them to storage, bring them out a week later, test again. You know, what a facility is, absolutely amazing. Then we got a bit of a sneak preview into the research and development part, which was really an eye opener. The way they do this these things is unreal. You think you're just grabbing a mower and oh yeah, somebody's pushed it around a bit of grass for a while. No siree, they are on these things for months and years, testing them for all eventualities really, above and beyond their capabilities. Absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm gonna go and grab myself some lunch and then I'll see you on the field for a bit of action on some mowers. Wow, what a great day I've had. Well, great and exhausting. I'm absolutely shattered. We had a tour around the factory. I really enjoyed it. We came over, had some lunch at the visitor center here, and then uh, we watched a presentation about all the new and existing machines, really, just all their promo vids about what they can do and how they can do it. And also a lot on the new batteries and the run times on the batteries, which are really interesting and really on topic at the moment. Then we were shot over to the field, and I hope you enjoyed the footage of me uh, testing the mowers, more like having a bit of fun spinning them around and racing them up and down but it was good fun and uh, you see me in my uh, Jimmy the Mower hoodie at some points because it was chucking it down with rain which was still great because we got to test them in the wet you know we cut a lot of grass in the wet because we have to we're here in the UK and those zero turns moving them slowly backwards and forwards spinning them around and not marking the grass that's what we were after so really really good all in all we've stayed so late the visitor centre's actually shut but we have really enjoyed it the Douglas Hayter Visitor Centre is open here at the Toro factory. You'll have to get in touch with them. I'm not sure how you get to come. I had a special invite. So, but all the links and everything to Toro will be in the description below. Anything nice to say, leave it in the comments section and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim of the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one. 